well, okay. Not, let's just get into this. Not too long ago, leaks came out for the whole pendulum summer. Basically, long story short, pendulum summon, you put, let's see. It's like, serves as a magic card and a monster. Basically, it has two levels. And monsters whose levels are in between these two levels. Like for example, the this six here, not this five, and this three, you get to summon them. At least I think that's how it goes. It might be the one in anything. Uh, not too familiar. But I've been I was looking forward to trying out the mechanic. So I saw this stupidness. Now, it's already bad enough trying to play the game with only three of them things. But putting pendulums like this, it reduces them to one. One magic and trap card. Now, I don't know if them things can be removed with something like, I don't know, a simple D spell. Or something like that if that is the case then these being there is gonna be a pain in the behind okay it, it is not gonna be meta at all matter of fact it's gonna be so bad no one's gonna even want to use it in a fun deck unless they are a noob and I'm, I'm talking hell is stupid. This will never work. Pendulums is dead on arrival. Straight up. Dead. No one's going to be using this mechanic for Jack Ish. Thankfully, with Arc 5, they're going to come out with cards from infusions exceeds and synchro there's gonna be a lot more of those thankfully but this i'm not looking forward to this especially when it, when with dual links they have like these challenges like oh you got pen you gotta do this with this much monsters like with uh Zexo world it's like oh exceed Summon 10 Xe monsters or summon 3 Xe monsters uh, or something like that so you can go up by stage. Which, the more you go up by stage, the more characters you can unlock and blah blah blah. But imagine this crap, but with Urk the pendulum thing. Bruh, I'm not even gonna touch Arc 5 world. That's how annoying I think this is. That's how much of the, that's how much despair it is. Okay. I don't want to bother with this. Like some of the freaking dealing with some of the NPCs is already a pain in the butt enough. You add this crap along with it. You got Nightmare on Elm Street, my boy. And then you add that with a game that half the time doesn't even run like it's supposed to. Bruh. Bruh. Not too long ago, I summoned Bowser in a in a what I forgot if it was ranked NPC or whatever basically I summon Bowser my opponent activates a monster effect now in that actually yeah it was ranked now in that case monster effect activating on the field I was guaranteed supposed to get the option to negate that bitch and say fuck you. Did that happen? No. 
And then a weird thing is with Harpy, the Harpy Synchro, Harpy's Cyber Slash Harpy. Yeah, that her effect is supposed to go off with monster effects also. Last I checked. But yet, it has not gone off once with a monster effect. Now I can go back and read the card. But I'm pretty sure. 100%. Matter of fact, let me look up this right now. Cyber. Slash. Harpy Lady. Let's get to the wall. Links. Right here. Read it here, man. If you don't, let's, let's see this stupid thing. I bridge that. Okay, let's see if we can get a clear picture. One, two, no, for this guy's sake, go get sick. Oh, come on, kid. Is I can read it perfectly fine, but y'all probably can't. Let's go back. And this car is sacred mode. You can treat one harpy monster you control as a tuner. This card name becomes harpy while on the field, blah blah blah. When a spell, trap, card, or effect is activated. Then ship. You can target one monster you're playing patrols, la 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 la. Bell, trap, or effect. Yeah, it doesn't go off. What the hell? And then there was oh yeah. My favorite, which is the most funny, was the recent Grand Finals. I'll, pro I'll link some videos to folks that will better elaborate on it. Long story short, it was a disaster. Mad matches kept disconnecting. And for, and for like, first, what, five or so hours, the game was unoperational dudes couldn't even get a match in it was disgraceful and for something like that with mad money going into it and you got like cash prizes and all types of crap and y'all wanna have the nerve to be like oh if it's not working properly then it's probably cause you're near a uh, 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 microwave. Microwave these nuts in your mom's Konami. Microwave these nuts in your mom's. And on her chin. Okay? That is no freaking excuse. Alright? Like, how many other mob mobile games? Uh, how many other games, period? Don't have this stupid problem. I seriously. I hate when freaking game companies. Y'all getting mad money and loot. Yet y'all refuse to put in the work. And this is. To nothing. Half of the thing is because the fans keep tolerating the bullshit. It's like it's been how many freaking years. And I'm hearing mad stories about their incompetence, how they messed up with some YCSs, how the last 
world championship that they had in what New York or whatever was such a freaking disaster that they can never hold one there again good grief and now recently this is this is the car games not the links and now recently I'm hearing news about they could be able to pull out the product that dudes pre-ordered mind you out on time that's a very serious ish when dudes paying money pre-ordering stuff and y'all delivering late like Joe Moderera with his pencils that that something's wrong there and Joe Mads at least he's one man Konami, you're a billion dollar corporation and whatnot. Hell, this Yu Gi Oh game, this thing right here is the only thing, the only reason y'all even still around. Like, honestly, this is my honest opinion. Until they get their ish together with all things Yu Gi Oh! I suggest all y'all just stop buying. I don't care if it's a new box. I don't care if it's a new set. A bunch of cars that got your nipples going. I don't give a damn with chicken or ham. Because the thing with these corporations. The thing with these things. They only understand money. Unless you say you're tired of the BS with the cash they ain't gonna listen alright take um Pokemon for example we all know Pokemon how awesome it was look at how dank and bland it's become for Pete's sake a spin-off game where you take photos made by an outside company them dudes put in more work in that game than what Game Freak's done in the past five years super shameful excuse me for the burps super shameful like good Reef, yo. This is just disgraceful, man. But what is a dude supposed to do with this? And then, not to mention, oh yeah, aside with doings, aside from the fact that you know the Grand Kyber Cup, Grand Finals, or whatever. Aside from that crap. And disaster you got the fact that for the past month or so the game's been just shutting off out of nowhere like I'd be about to get into a duel and whatnot and all of a sudden boom it crashes and then I have to reboot it or I'm about to Added out a deck and boom it crashes and that's some BS I bruh I not get this problem with um, Asphalt 9 that's another mobile game don't know if it's on PC or whatever I don't get this problem with Power Rangers Legacy Wars. I don't get this problem from basically any other app and whatnot. Doing so on the other hand, it's problems out the wazoo. Okay? And this is some BS, right? It really is. Last boss complete born trash, right? And it's like, oh great, now we, now I have to deal with freaking some stupid challenge going, 
oh, you know, oh, you have, you have the pendulum summon three monsters. Like, no, I will do no such thing. I will do no such thing. I promise you, I'm not touching Arc 5 until this is no more and it's this with the bottom row. Mother, until it's like this with the bottom row. I am not touching no Arc 5. No. No, 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 no. Not at all. This is trash, bro. Thankfully, I I managed to download a way. I managed to find a way so I could play the game without any BS. Especially if Master Duel turns out to be as disappointing or worse so than Duel Links is right now. Like seriously, look, look at this trash. Like, Konami needs to get their crap together. For real, man. Yeah, until then, I'm going to be on that YGO point. Because this is trash-ish. Straight up. So it's like, that's what I, my thoughts on this. Pendulums dead on a five. Enough said, man. This is going nowhere. Nowhere. Freaking trash.